hey gemini so thank you guys for tuning into my channel please keep in mind that my readings are general and may or may not resonate so take with us and leave the rest also please be sure to check your sun moon rising and venus sign for more insight and don't forget to like share and subscribe you guys so right after i got finished doing taurus reading i was shuffling my cards and then i kept singing this song by um patty labelle but i it, it was it's by patty labelle but plies remixed it so it's still called somebody and then in parentheses is love you baby but i i don't know whether or not you needed to know that like if you're feeling alone and you need to feel like you know somebody loves you or if somebody really is like you know they they coming in they here for you it could you know take it how it resonates but for you guys who are going through a depressive state right now, you might be going through some some shit, you know, so I love you. I never want my Geminis to feel like that because I know the feeling of feeling overwhelmed like nobody gives a fuck and nobody cares. And if you guys really, really, really need somebody to talk to, I'm here. You know, I'm, I'm always here to speak to somebody. I would never want you guys to feel alone. You know, that's a, it's a terrible fucking feeling, especially when you're going through shit, breakups, family issues. You know, we got the pandemic going on right now. All this shit, motherfuckers is losing their job. They don't have no money or motherfuckers is still going to work out here. Like, whatever you're going through, if you, even if you need to just, you know, speak to me, shoot me a message, say something underneath my um things. I'll draw a few cards for you, whatever. But, you know, I do care. I generally care. I'm a genuinely good person overall. Like, I never want you guys to feel alone. So, how, however it resonates, we'll see if we're sad or if, you know, there's somebody coming in that loves you. You know, I just met somebody new. So, somebody might be loving me. He's a fire sign and I am afraid of fire signs. But we're going to, I'm going to try it. We're going to take this slow. <laughs> anyway, moving forward. So, what energy do we have for my... Gemini's by Jim Jim. Okay, so we're no longer waiting on something. I felt that. Okay, we're no longer waiting on something or someone. Yeah, with the page of swords, we might have communicated that to this person. Yeah, I feel. Look at this fire sign. I feel like um. With the Queen of Wands here, you're like, I'll just, I'm beautiful. I'm in my power. I will, you know, go and look for something that's more for me if I'm, if it's not working out with you. I feel like that's what's happened here. Too many spirit. Ooh. Okay. So, give me some cards for how Gemini is feeling. Give me some cards behind Gemini's Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, so there might be some petty, some petty shit going on. And you're like, I'm not waiting on it no more. So now you're Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> nice. Okay, so you were juggling with this idea with this person, this past person that you're no longer waiting on. And then someone new came in and shook up the room, Pop Smoke style. Okay. Could have been this Queen of Wands here. I really feel like it might have been. I told you guys I just met a fire sign. So, yeah. What is this? Uh, three of Wands in reverse. You're no longer waiting for this love connect. Wow. You're no longer waiting for this person to love you. You know, I feel like in the past, maybe you guys might have had some type of connection together. But lately, you've been waiting for this person. And I don't feel like this person has come through. Yeah, it's like you've been trying to even manifest. You might have been trying to do like some type of spells or something. But if you haven't been trying to do spells, you physically been talking to this person, trying to get this person to come back. Yeah, and it's just been causing conflict because this person might not be coming. But uh, why is the page of swords here? The king of swords. Yeah, you decide to cut off communication. The communication that you were giving, you actually turned your back towards it and you started... Um, communicating you've offered something or you've let in this queen of wands here it could be a king of wands take it how it resonates what is this two of pentacles 
you were yeah because you were juggling with the idea of whether or not you wanted to start something but now we have the king and the queen here so i don't know if the king and the queen was this past relationship or if the king and the queen is this new relationship coming in but you definitely have something new tell me about this queen of wands the empress this could be somebody that's very fertile this can be uh, a a man who has a lot of kids or wants a lot of kids this can be someone who is very uh abundant this person likes um i heard their space they like to just be one with themselves but they crave a family the empress has an emperor that she's supposed to be attached to so um she's here alone right now there's no emperor here so this is someone looking for their person damn i don't even know how i just got that but i got that tell me about this ace of cups spirit tell me about this ace of cups the star fucking wow so whoever this new person coming in this person is healing just like you are too tell me more about this yes 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 so they're going to be coming in to help you make this decision. This is divinely guided, you guys. Okay. With the eight, the, the uh, seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This is, this is you working towards something new. No longer waiting on this past situation, but moving forward. That's beautiful. And then God sent you, the divine sent you someone new to hold your hand through this. But you have to take, you guys have to take each other's hands. I feel like y'all both been through something. Okay, give me some energy on um, this. I want to do both. I want to do the new and old. Give me some energy for this old person that Gemini is no longer waiting on. Energy for this. Could have been a Cancer Pisces or Scorpio, but this motherfucker is toxic with the devil card here. Yeah, it will afford you. It was time for you to move on from this person anyway because you had two of cups. You got something else that's coming in that's going to be a union that you've been looking forward to. And I feel like it's this new person. Yep, this person is going to balance you out with the temperance here. Yes, so you're going to have to make a judgment on what you're going to do with this new person. Because, see, this... <sighs> This person has been through a lot too. This new person that's coming into your life, they're a little guarded because they've 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 been through some shit. Yeah, they're starting new. They're just starting over. So they're like, you know, it's like one wrong move with them. So they might even be taking a little slow because they've been through a lot. Yeah, with the strip card, I feel like they hold back a lot. Like, even though they want this new beginning, I don't feel like they'll just uh come to you like fully open. You'll probably have to um give this person some love which gemini's are good at but we're a little guarded too right now so that's gonna be a little hard yeah with the moon card <sighs> spirit why is the moon card here why is the moon card here spirit why is the moon card here This person has deep in me. If this person already likes you a lot, they're not going to tell you that. But I feel like this person is single and this person is offering somebody something. I feel like the moment they met you, they, they already knew. Like, look, you got the moon with the ace of swords. When this person met you, they already fucking knew. The moon is intuition. It's also a deep emotion. It also could be secrets. But there are no secrets here. This person's secret is they their, their emotions is very deep. And they, as soon as they met you, they knew. They knew that they wanted to offer you something. But the night, this is not no small offer. This is one step up from the small offer. It's a, I'm really interested in seeing where things go. They see you as very beautiful. And you have the Queen of Wands too, so you see them equally as just important. So beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, could be a, a oh, excuse the fuck out of me. Whoever this person is, the new person, I mean the old person. Uh, you know what? I feel like it's both. You're gonna have two people here. 
You're going to have a few people, I feel like. But these two people are both going to be coming in to offer you love. But this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, they are dead ass fucking serious. They looking at shit from a new perspective. Whatever y'all have been doing, yeah, they've also just been left out in the cold. So they, they're working really hard to get their shit back together. Yeah, they want justice. So after some type of tower moment, which might be you coming into their life, they like, fuck, this is crazy. This is crazy. They already blocking something else off, and then here you come. Here you fucking come. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay, so, Spirit, what's the outcome for this for my Geminis? Because, you know, we deserve this. I've been talking about Geminis getting a new person since I started reading. Tell me about this. Tell me, what's the outcome? Okay, so, this person's coming. Look at this. Definitely could be a fire sign coming in. Or a Leo. Well, Leo is a fire sign, but somebody's coming in. This person is coming back. They're trying to get the strength to work on the situation, but they're coming in fast as fuck when they do come. You might notice right now that they're not that that open with you. They might not be having that much communication with you, but it's because they're trying to get their shit together. They, they are going to come in, though. They're going to come in fast as fuck, and I feel like that's a habit for this person, so you might want to watch out for that. Yeah. You, want, you might want to watch out for this person because they have uh, tendencies to, to run around. However, I feel like this person is tired of that. They're tired of, of running around. They want something stable. They want to be happy. They're ready to level themselves off of somebody. Look at this. And this is this new spark idea with you. Look, they're going to offer you something. Look at this shit. Holy fucking shit. Yeah, so, you know, let's get some advice. Advice for my Geminis. Oops, too many. Advice for my Geminis. Advice for my Geminis. Okay, strategically plan here. Okay. You need to also look out for some white lies that this person might tell you. You need to get to know this person. With the Nine of Cups to the Empress, this is you being abundant in whatever you wished on. It's coming. Whatever you wish for is coming, you guys. But just be careful to cross all those T's and dot all those I's and be careful because I feel like out of all these thoughts that are coming in, some of them might be deceptive. And that might even be you self-deceiving yourself. But with the Queen of Pentacles, you also need to take care of yourself. And don't hold back anymore. Okay? Communicate however you feel with anybody that you need to fucking talk to in order for you to be calm and cool and collective and move on to calmer waters. You see, because in the other six um, of swords, they got these those, the swords at the top of the boat. These are at the bottom, which means you've already came to the agreement that it's time for you to go and you done found a way for it. So just keep it moving. Alright, thank you guys.